Okay. I don't know how to start this anymore. I'm very... Hi, guys. Welcome. <laughs> welcome back. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Casey Cooking Channel. <laughs> hey, guys. It's Sean and Casey. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And... Welcome back. Welcome us back, I guess. Because it's been like a year. Um... I was misinformed by the information of hey, this Hey, no, video. this was, this was, um, this was... No, we came we, up with we an had idea, a meet, We had a meeting, and we had a meeting, we and then together, we, we, we had a producer, so you were the director. And... Sean teaches Casey how to cook. John teaches Casey how to cook. Yeah, John teaches Casey how to cook. So, today's challenge is going to be tell them. Ratatouille. From what movie? Ratatouille. And what is it about? Ratatouille. Here are the rules and what's going down. Right? Number one, I'm not gonna be seeing you. Number two, no questions asked. No questions asked, you can't ask me any questions. I'm only gonna say it once. And number three, just have fun with it. Be yourself, you know, just have fun with it. Great. I wish you best of luck. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your peppers. Okay. The red and the green, oh no, the red and the yellow pepper. Now you're gonna cut the top off just enough where you, know, you get the stem off. Once you get the stem off, you're gonna take the inside, just get your claw and just gnaw it out and then take it out and then set it aside. Take what out? out? <laughs> the seeds. No questions. Is I'm not just, answering, but I just did. Just the top? You're gonna take the stem off by just cutting, like just cutting the top off ever so slightly, and then you're gonna gnaw the, the seeds from the inside of the pepper out. Then after that, you're gonna cut the pepper in half. Once you cut the pepper in half, you're gonna grab the baking sheet lined with foil and put the cut side down on the baking sheet so the skin side is up. Great. I'm guessing that means you got it. That means I'm still trying to cut off the top of now, the Now, what you're gonna do? Nope, nope, nope. I now gotta what cut you the pepper do? first. I didn't even cut the pepper yet. Oh my god, this is gonna be a long day. Well, like, this one's complicated. Like, the seed is, or the stem stayed in there. It's a pepper. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Nice. Now wait, what wait, you're gonna wait, do wait. I'm on is grab the pepper two. and then I'm put on it on the baking sheet lined with foil, skin side up. Yes, but and I'm then, on pepper number two first. You're still on pepper number one? No, I'm done with pepper number one. It's on the baking sheet. Okay, and then put it in the oven for 10 minutes until the skin gets black. Oven for 10 minutes till the skin gets black. Great, now that you have that done, you're gonna grab your onion and you're gonna grab your pepper, no, sorry, your onion and your um, parsley. Onion and parsley, what times? Okay, so 325. Onion and parsley, I'm assuming Okay. Great, now you're gonna cut off the ends of the onion. You're gonna wanna cut off the very end on both sides of the onion, lay it flat, and then cut it in half, and then peel off the skin. But cut like enough where you're getting it off, but don't cut too much off where you're wasting the onion. Just yes. Cut like just right, you know what I mean? Cool. Yep. So, once you cut both ends, cut it in half, and then peel off the skin. Now, you're gonna wanna dice the onion. I'm assuming you know how to dice an onion. Maybe. Okay, you got 10 seconds. What 10 seconds? I'm a perfectionist at this time. Oh, uh, don't, because you're gonna blend it anyway, so you don't have to Wait. make it perfect. Okay. Holy, I hate onions. Oh, are you crying because I'm all the way back here? 
Hold up, hold up. I forgot you're still cooking. Now grab the olive oil and drizzle about two tablespoons to put like a good enough amount where it co coats the uh, pan. Put the onion in the pan and then put about two spoonfuls of garlic, minced garlic into the pan at the same time. Now you're just gonna grab it like a wooden spoon and then stir it around and make sure it's coated and kind of let it saute for about five to six minutes. It's looking good, I gotta say. I'm killing it over here. Wow. Well, okay, now let it be and start cutting up your parsley. So let it be and cut up the parsley. Now yep. run, hey. Am I using like all the parsley? No, just about like two tablespoons. Okay, chopping nice, nice. parsley. Good girl, all right, killing it, all right. Does this encouragement help or do you want me to be like, no, do what you're doing. All right, you suck. I can already feel it from here. Thank you. I appreciate the That's support. right. Now pull up. Level up. All right, two tablespoons? Yeah, about like two tablespoons. Take out the peppers and turn the onions to a very low heat. Take out the peppers and then what? Turn down the heat with the onions to very low. What? Oh my God, they're burnt. You burned my bell peppers. What? You said. What you want to do is grab some tin foil and put it over the peppers. Let it steam. Tin foil. Uh, put it over the peppers. Okay, it's over the peppers. Okay, now leave that be for about like five minutes. All right, now add your tomatoes two sprigs of parsley, or the two to three sprigs of parsley, get two sprigs of thyme, or two to three sprigs of thyme, put it in with the onions as well, and also one bay leaf. One bay leaf? Okay, so the chopped up tomato, right? Yes, okay. But the parsley is the two tablespoons or the stems? Okay, well this is gonna be messed up. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Grab your peppers and put them on the cutting board. Okay, put the peppers on the cutting board. Hey, what? All right, since I don't have a fork, I'm just gonna go like this. Okay, now you wanna cut your pepper, you wanna put your peppers onto the cutting board with the burnt side up. Yes. And what you wanna do is grab your knife and run it through from the back of the pepper to the front of the pepper so you can pretty much scrape off the burnt part. It should come off pretty easily. Okay, that's nice. We got two halves down. Ooh, look at that, it's like paper. Uh -huh. Mix it for about maybe like five to six minutes. Five to six minutes. And keep it on very low heat. Low heat. Yeah, okay. low heat. Oh, is that supposed to be something with the bay leaf? Oh, yeah, and put one bay leaf into the pot, uh, the, the, the pot as well. You screwed me up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You so know just this one? whole no questions asked thing is completely out of proportion. Just one? Yeah. And I mix it with it? Yeah. So wait. I, Stop asking me questions, Casey! <laughs> While you're doing that, you're gonna grab your mandolin, which is this white, long, rectangular thing, and the handle, set it to your station, grab the zucchini, and cut off the ends on both sides of the zucchini, and then cut the zucchini in half. 
Just one zucchini? All zucchini. Wait, stop asking me questions! Well, you said zucchini, not zucchinis. Well, you should assume it's all zucchinis. Well, I can't assume anything with you. Okay. Now, I want to say this very, 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 very carefully. Please be careful with the mandolin. Yes. It'll slice your thumb off. Yes. Okay, what do I do now? All right, now what you're going to do is grab one of the half zucchinis, put it on the handle, like put it through um, the needles of the handle. There should be a handle for it, so that way you don't slice with just your hand. Put it through what? The handle of the mandolin. Yes should have these needles on the bottom if you pull off the top of the handle. So there's like a, a circle. If you pull it up, then it should like reveal these needles on the bottom of the handle. There's like, no needles. Like like these metal these metal lines. Like 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 sticks. Metal sticks. I don't see needles. What? Like okay, are you holding the handle? It looks like a hat. I'm holding the handle. Okay, now turn it the other way so like you can see the bottom of the, ha the handle. Okay. Do you see these like metal dots? Yes. Okay, now pull the, the top of the, like not pull it, but like let the top of the handle in come out, like come down. What? Turn it the other way around where, where the, the circle is facing up. Okay. Sure. Now pull up the circle. Yes. Now you should see these like metal strip, like metal sticks on the bottom. <laughs> I don't see anything metal. Can Are you I sure you're grabbing the you? right handle? I'm bringing this to you. No, no, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. That's not the handle. That's the mandolin. I, what handle? The ha that's the mandolin. Yeah. The handle should look like a Pharrell hat. Oh my goodness! I don't know what a handle is. Okay. I said it should look like a hat. Does the mandolin look like a hat to you? Well, I thought you were talking about the mandolin because we were still on the mandolin. Does it look like a hat to you? I don't know. Do you have the Pharrell hat? Yes. Okay, now if you pull the circle up, then you should see these metal sticks on the bottom. Yes. Perfect. Now stab the zucchini in the center of it. Which side? Stab, stab any side you want, but it should be the circle that you're stabbing it. Don't stab it where it's stabbing the skin. Like long ways, stab it vertically. Now as you do that, you're going to use the mandolin and go back and forth so you create these thin circles. Wait, how am I supposed to stab this thing? Oh, like this? That doesn't really stab it. Okay, whoa, what? I'm so confused. You're basically just like slicing the mandolin, uh, the slicing the zucchini against the mandolin mm -hmm. to create these thin circles. And it's you want to go back and forth and apply some good pressure on it. And try to go pretty quick. They're not quick. circles though. What? The zucchini's not circles. Ovals, whatever. No, they're like strips. No! Ay, ay, ay. No, I said stab it where it's not stabbing the skin, it's stabbing the circle. Vertically. Oh, but you said have. Yeah, have, have it not vertically, like not horizontally, vertically. Oh my goodness, I screwed up. No! It's fine, it's fine, I'll work it, I'll work it together. Because you need circles, Casey. I got it, I got it. It's, it's gonna be half circles. Half, no, it can't be half circles, otherwise it won't look anything like the dish. Well, I, we're screwed because I already cut all of them. You cut all of them? I cut all of them because you told me to cut all of them. Oh. You, no, it's great. Circles. I'm gonna cut them. Casey, you got this. You know, you may have screwed up with slicing the zucchini, but you may, you know, and you may have screwed up telling me how to slice the zucchini, but it's okay. How's it looking? It's looking like half zucchinis. All I'm right. almost done. Stab in it. You got this. You got this. You got this. Hey. Hey.
Oh. Okay, now I want you to take off the herbs from the tomato and onion. So just pick off the thyme, pick off the bay leaf, and pick off the parsley and throw it in the trash. What you want to do is get all your onions and your garlic and your tomatoes, everything in the pan into the blender cup. Yes. And so that way, once you get it into the blender cup, be very, very careful. Tie it really, really tightly. Put it onto the blender. Pulse it until it's completely smooth. Like, I'm talking like, like usher smooth. And then what? I put it on the blender and pulse it until it's smooth. That's right. Thanks, Casey. You're doing great. Um, once it's done, grab the rectangular baking sheet. Got it. Grab it and pour the sauce all the way, all over and spread it around. Ooh, look at that. Here's where we get to the fun part. You're going to finally be able to make it into like these layers. We like layers. We like layers. We like them. So what you're gonna do is gonna go green zucchini. Sorry, green half zucchini. <laughs> I can make it into a full. What? Can I make it into a full? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, let's do that. So, two half green zucchini, two half yellow zucchini, one full tomato. When you layer them, you want to overlay them in a way where you can see. Oh, you can obviously see the skin of the vegetable but also like a tiny bit of the flesh as well so like in a diagonal yeah kind of like tilted just imagine what you see in the movie you know what i mean i know but i haven't seen the movie in a while so oh. <laughs> all right we're watching it after this <laughs> <laughs> Should I do something that'll like entertain you while you're doing this? Sure. All right, give me something. Give me like a, give me like a, like a, like a, like a, like a beat or something. Oh wait, what should I rap about? How I'm doing so amazing. No, no, give me something realistic to rap about. That is realistic. Boom, boom, chick, boom, boom, chick. Yeah, Casey's gonna start cooking. Yeah, she's gonna mix some bookin'. All right, yeah, she's making how to, she's learning how to do ratatouille. Yeah, uh-huh, do it. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm trying to teach her how to do it. That way she's not a crook, yeah, uh. She's doing really well. Yeah, some would say she's doing swell. Yeah, she screwed up the beginning. She screwed up the middle. But that's what Casey does is in the end. We just lost so many subscribers. <laughs> Probably. Okay. It's done. You're done? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Woo! Alright, I'm... I trust you. I, I, I believe that it looks really, really, really good. I know that's a lie, but thanks. <laughs> no, I, I genuinely, I know, okay. Okay, sorry. I know it's gonna taste really, really good. Thank you. Yep, 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 <laughs> I got you. Anyways, you're gonna grab some parchment paper and you're gonna cover it over the top of... Parchment, not tinfoil? No, parchment. Okay. And you uh, wanna make sure that the parchment touches the vegetables. So what you're doing is you're letting the liquid, the parchment absorb the liquid when it's baking. And you want it to cover completely. So either you grab some scissors or you just kind of like tuck it in. But you want the parchment paper to just cover the top of the vegetables. oven down to 275 degrees and then once you set the oven to 275 degrees get your uh your dish and just put it in the oven so once i set it i grab my dish and i put it in the oven all right it's going in all it's right going. now you're gonna give it about an hour and a half and then we'll come back all right give me a high five Woo! 
No, no, don't high five yourself, give me a high five. I think this is supposed to be more stacked, so then you could like flower it out, but I don't have it like that, so we're gonna figure it out together. Oh, look at that. We're gonna go like this. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, cool. Maybe like the whole thing of this is gonna be one time. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be it. Okay. Look at this. Look. Look at that gorgeousness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plate it my way. How about that? There's some. Three. Okay, that's gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> then we're gonna put this on top. Beautiful! I'm just hyping myself up. Look at that. Mwah. Stay, stay. <gasps> it's stay. That's perfect. Voila. Mwah. Ratatouille. Sean. Was that good acting? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia. It's a ratatouille. <laughs> it looks like it. It's a little juicy, but that means it's good. Yeah, no. Wait, I'm taking a picture of this. Mm. Wow, yes. Right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, sick, sick. Look at that jawline. Wow. So today. Wait, no. <laughs> Casey, tell me what we have here today. So today I'm bringing you from Mexico to Italy. This is a ratatouille, mm. Casey style. What's Casey style? This. No explanation needed. <laughs> Let's give us a shot, shall we? You shall. Stupid that there isn't more. I hate to say it. I, I, I just really hate to say it. But more of this, more people in this world, <laughs> more people in this world should experience this. If they want their taste buds ruined with perfection. <laughs> you did good. John teaches, teaches Casey, Casey how to cook. cook. Yeah, that's it. Alright, let's do a free drink, John. Okay. Alright, and then and then we'll Sean teaches Casey how to cook. Okay. Alright, well this is it. Thank you for watching. You know she did a great thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this has been fun. This has been Sean teaches Casey how to cook. That was beautiful. That was really nice. Right. You were about to say. <laughs> <laughs>